In 2006, Richard Dawkins published The God Delusion, which became the defining document of the emerging New Atheist movement. The centerpiece of this book is a chapter titled, Why There Almost Certainly Is No God, which purports to lay out a case for God's probable non-existence. I quote, a design or god cannot be used to explain organized complexity because any god capable of designing anything would have to be complex enough to demand the same kind of explanation in his own right. God presents an infinite regress from which he cannot help us escape. This argument demonstrates that god, though not technically disprovable, is very very improbable indeed. Any thinking person should be able to spot several flaws with this argument immediately, but the most glaring flaw is that the argument doesn't even prove what it purports to prove. Even if we grant Dawkins' argument up to the point that any design inference necessarily results in infinite regress, it still wouldn't prove God is improbable, only that design inferences lack explanatory power. The argument does nothing to disprove God as the prime mover of scholastic arguments, nor does it disprove the God of Revelation. More importantly for the purposes of this video is the premise, implied here but made explicit elsewhere, that a designer must be more complex than the thing that's designed. Why should we assume this to be the case? By what metric do you compare the complexity of a material thing to the complexity of an immaterial thing? Does Dawkins not realize that to classical theists, God is a divinely simple, non-composite entity? Even if we grant every premise of Dawkins' argument, why couldn't an omnipotent being of pure potentiality simply make itself however complex it needs to be? It's difficult to overstate how many times over Dawkins' argument fails. What's more, this premise runs afoul of another piece of geek gospel, a book also published in 2006, written by a man similarly hostile to religion and committed to promoting a materialist worldview, much like Dawkins'. The book is The Singularity is Near by Ray Kurzweil, which describes the radical technological disruption Kurzweil predicts will occur within our lifetimes. Computational power will continue to grow exponentially, he argues, until artificial intelligence outstrips humans' own ability to design computers. This event, which he calls the Singularity, and estimates to occur in 2045, will kickstart a self-sustaining, hyper-exponential feedback loop of increasing computational power. To quote Kurzweil himself, The human brain is a complex hierarchy of complex systems, but it does not represent a level of complexity beyond what we are already capable of handling. As systems evolve through biology and technology, we find that they become more complex. The singularity will represent an explosion of these higher values of complexity. So the singularity involves human beings designing computers more complex than they are, and those computers in turn designing computers more complex than they are, and so on. If Kurzweil's prediction comes to pass, it will be a spectacular empirical refutation of the key premise of Dawkins' argument. In any case, why there almost certainly is no God deserves to be consigned to the trash bin of philosophical thinking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.